That is Shangri-La, the United States aircraft carrier Hornet, which with another carrier, and escorted by cruisers and destroyers, was the base from which Tokyo was bombed. On their way across the Pacific, they met Japanese patrol boats, which were promptly sunk. On board the Hornet, Jimmy Doolittle and his airmen, fearing that the patrol boats might have sent a radio warning to Japan, decided to start on their exploit sooner than they'd planned. Doolittle took off in the first plane. There was a bit of a sea running and some wind, which no doubt helped the Mitchells in their unusually difficult takeoff from a short flight deck instead of the usual long runway ashore. And the airmen, who were army pilots, must have found the experience exhilarating to say the least of it. It was a great job, magnificently carried out. And although the whole world was surprised, no one was more surprised than the Japs themselves. Tokyo had held many an air raid practice in the past. As a matter of fact, this is one. But the reality, which must have looked much the same, provided the warlords and the people with quite a new sensation. Sooner or later, Overwhelming blows will strike them, as Mr. Churchill has said. Doolittle and other survivors of the daring raid were decorated by Madame Chiang Kai-shek. Two planes came down in Japanese-controlled China, and some of the crews have since been executed. An unprecedented example of savagery by a self-styled, civilized nation. We all feel pretty strongly about these boys that we were with. We had all been pretty close large family, or almost like brothers. We'd known each other from a year to a year and a half before this raid ever came off. We knew their families, their children, and if there's any way to get even, we'll certainly try. <laughs> 